Hey what's up guys and gals, my name is Rick9G, thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be looking at Gilligan's Island. Now if you are new to the channel, I do want to welcome you with open arms. I hope you enjoy and like all of my videos because we are a community that loves all things fun and all things entertainment. In the description below you're going to find links to things like Patreon which is a way that you can support the channel and other links which could be useful to you so go ahead and take a look don't forget. Now let's get right into this guys and gals. We're going to be taking a look at Bob Denver who of course played Gilligan on Gilligan's Island and his take into the first episode of Gilligan's Island. This is again from season one episode one of Gilligan's Island. The episode was named Two on a Raft. Bob Denver recalls that this episode aired first, but it should have aired second or third. There's really nothing that was explained about how they landed on the island, how they lived, or even really any introductions to the characters. But as the episode continued along, you gradually became more familiar with all the characters. Now looking at the episode and what it was about, the castaways hear on the radio about their shipwreck and the skipper and Gilligan decide to build a raft in order to save the castaways and themselves. The girls give them lays of fruit. The professor warns that there may be a Marubi tribe of headhunters on close by islands. So Gilligan forgets to cast off the anchor and has to go back to shore and retrieve it. Then he walks underwater to bring it to the raft. The skipper falls into the lagoon trying to help Gilligan onto the raft. The boys sail on this raft for three days. Gilligan eats the lays and the shark repellent, and the sharks attack the raft. Pretty much they destroy the raft, nothing is left. So they land back on the same island, while the boys don't know that this is the case, while thinking that this is a different one inhabited by the Marubi headhunters. So the passengers see smoke from Gilligan's rescue fire and they come to the same conclusion that there are Marubi headhunters on this new island. They all decide to hide in a cave and they rig a trap on the outside. The skipper and Gilligan go into the cave. They set off the trap and a fight ensues. Of course, everything gets straightened out and it's a great start to the series of Gilligan's Island. Now I want to share to you Bob Denver's words regarding the skipper, of course, played by Alan Hill Jr. In regards to his strength while filming an episode, I think you'll really enjoy this anecdote. Let me know what you think about it. Now according to Denver, while shooting this episode, he learned how strong Alan was. They were on the raft and the sail was supposed to fall down. Denver had a little knife hidden in his hand so he could cut the quarter inch rope to make it fall. Now the process of filming that they were using were MOS or MOS. It's called Mit Out Sound. It's a term taken from an old German director and never chained. And this process was used so that he can talk to Alan while the shots are being filmed. Denver had told Alan that he couldn't reach the rope to cut it. Alan was on the other side of the sail and he said, don't worry. Denver heard a grunt and the sail came crashing down. After the shot, Denver asked Alan that he didn't realize he had a knife to cut the rope. Alan said he hadn't used one. He looked at the rope and realized that Hale had simply snapped it like a piece of string. Denver didn't think it was even physically possible to do that. Yet he did. Imagine how strong Hale had to have been to do this. Denver added that the weather was lousy, cold, very windy, and overcast. They had to walk out of the ocean and build a fire with wood-soaked matches. However, the wind kept blowing out the wooden match that he was using to light the fire. By the third take, Denver was shaking so hard from being wet and cold that he could barely hold the match. They taped a bunch of wooden matches together and they stuck it in the middle of the wood pile. This spontaneously combusted and lit the fire. Denver thought, if the audience buys that a shark ate the raft, this should be no problem at all. This was the very first episode in which Denver went into the lagoon and ocean and, according to him, froze his buns off. Not to mention the tank that they used when they were on a raft. On stage, he had to be squirted with water to match the shot from the location. The prop man had one of those tanks with a hose and nozzle and sprayed the water. He aimed at his crotch and said, that was cold ice water. He had another tank filled with warm water and soaked him down. Denver could never get used to getting dressed in nice warm clothes and then finally get squirted with water to become sopping wet. 
So what do you think, guys and gals? Have you ever seen this first episode? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? And do you think all the work the actors went through to get this on film was worth it? I do love the episode myself. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Don't forget, guys and gals, to stay positive, always better yourself, and most importantly, be hopeful. <laughs>